Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. It's been a few months since we did our year in comparison of all of the cameras in the Unify Protect system. And a lot has changed actually in the last three months. Go figure, it's 2021. We thought it was a good time to do an update of all the things that have come and gone in that time frame, And also touch on a few of the issues. Obviously a lot's happened in the first quarter of 2021 and it's been kind of a strange quarter for Ubiquiti. So let's kind of dive right into it and go through the Protect system. Let's first address the elephant in the room. Obviously Ubiquiti is having some supply side issues. Almost every camera on the site right now is either back ordered or sells in limited quantities. I, mean, I think this is probably a couple of issues. First of all, you know, we're a managed service provider, so we sell a lot of different IT products. We're having procurement issues with tons of PC accessories right now, from keyboards and mice, to webcams, to monitors, to video cards. Across the spectrum, we're having trouble with almost everything. So it's not that surprising that Ubiquiti is having some supply chain issues as well. Manufacturing has just really been hampered by COVID-19 in all of 2020, and I feel like we're feeling that backlash now in early 2021. I think there's probably one other factor in this equation as well. A lot of people are at home right now and I feel like people working at home are doing home improvement projects and putting up security cameras I think is something that people are doing right now because they're at home, they have a little extra time on their hands and they're doing home improvement projects. So I think you add those two together and you're really putting a crunch on the supply chain for Ubiquiti. But I'm gonna jump right into the cameras real quick. We'll talk about what's in the lineup right now, what's available, what's on back order, what's in limited quantities and how I feel about these cameras. Let's start with the G4 Pro. I think the G4 Pro is an amazing camera. If you saw our review video, I'll put a link in the description. It really was the big surprise for me. The image quality is still amazing. Also, if you saw our Hike View comparison, I didn't find anything in the Hike View system that I liked as much as I liked the G4 Pro. As far as image quality goes, I really feel like it's an amazing camera. It is expensive, so you know that is a consideration, but it is an amazing camera, the, the image quality, and really the dynamic range of the image quality to me is amazing. And uh, I really like it a lot, but obviously it is one of the items that's on the sold out list. So um, it's on back order, which is surprising. It's an expensive camera, but obviously people like it a lot. The one issue we did have with the G4 Pro was the fogging issue. If you did see our previous video, it did come with a fogging issue and it took a couple days for that to remedy itself. As I stated in that video, I think that's a production issue and I don't know if they've addressed that issue. Number two, I wanna to go to the G4 PTZ. Check out our review down in the link down in the description. It's an amazing camera. I think the hardware of that camera is phenomenal, but it too, at $1,800, is on back order. So who knew? They've sold enough of them that they haven't. They don't have any production left. Um, this is a new adjust, addition to the list. It wasn't in our previous comparison. And in that short amount of time, they've sold enough of them to sell them out. So I think that's probably a pretty good success for Ubiquiti. My review of it, it was that the hardware of it is amazing. Um, but the software has a little ways to go. I feel like the PTZ functions uh, aren't where they need to be. I think they need to have a patrol feature where the, the unit will actually just go left and right or up and down and patrol an area at a set time frame. And I also think that it should be able to use the smart detections to see a vehicle or a person and follow those people or, or vehicles. Um, so I hope that's something that is in development with the Protect system, but at this point it doesn't do those things. But at $1,800, it too is sold out. That brings us to the G4 Bullet. Again, the G4 Bullet is sold out. This was another high ranker on our previous comparison video. Like the G4 Pro, it's got a really nice dynamic range on the image. I also in my previous video said that the G4 Bullet is good enough that I really think the $50 more than it costs than the G3 Bullet um, will make the G3 Bullet obsolete. They haven't discontinued the G3 Bullet at this point, but you'll see further on down the list, I have some opinions there. That brings us to the G4 Dome. The G4 Dome actually is available right now, but they're limiting the quantity to two. I really like the G4 Dome. It is an amazing little camera. The only drawback that we have with the G4 Dome is similar to the other domes that we tested, both from Hike Vision and the G3 Dome. It does have a little bit of IR cast or a little bit of a milky uh, kind of haze over the lens in dark mode. So as soon as the IR sensors turn on, the dome does catch a little bit of the light and it kind of fades the image. It's not a deal breaker, but it's annoying once you see it. And in that video, we tried the various ways to get rid of it and minimize it. With that, I think the G4 Dome is a wonderful addition to the lineup. It adds smart detections for both humans and vehicles. It's got a higher build quality and is a little bit more weatherproof than the G3 Dome and also the image quality is superior. That brings us to the G4 doorbell. We didn't review the G4 doorbell in the previous video and I have not done a review of the G4 doorbell. Like I said, we're a managed service provider, so we put these systems in commercially. 
the doorbell just doesn't really have a place in our stack. I see really good reviews on the G4 doorbell and we may do a review of it in the future. If that's something you're interested in, please put it in the comments down below. We'd like to get, hear your feedback. As of right now, you can buy the G4 doorbell in unlimited quantities. So it is one of the cameras that is available on the site right now. That brings us to the G3 Pro. This is a pretty expensive camera and it ranked pretty low down our list. It is available in limited quantities right now. It's one of the few items that is available on the Ubiquiti site. I really have trouble recommending this camera though at that price point. It's a really nice camera and it has a super wide field of view and it does have some zoom features, which is nice, but it really is expensive for what it is. I think that G3 sensor is showing its age. It doesn't do smart detections of either vehicles or people, so you only have motion detection with it. And I think that the reason that it's in stock right now is because it's not a very popular camera. And I'm assuming as soon as they sell out of the stock of it, they probably will discontinue the unit. And that brings us to our final two really popular cameras. We're gonna start off with the G3 Flex. The G3 Flex really shot above its weight in our comparison. It continues to be a wonderful little camera. I think this price point is perfect. It's a great little commercial camera to put in a ceiling tile. They have a nice adapter kit for it. Uh, the image quality of it is really good. I wish that it had smart detections, but it does not. It's a G3 camera, but it is also sold out right now on Ubiquiti's website. So it's a tough camera to get. And that brings us to our last one, which is the G3 Instant, which is a wonderful little new addition. This wasn't on our previous comparison. Um, it is an amazing little camera. For $29, I think it's a wonderful addition to the Protect lineup. It really fills a void there at the lower end camera where maybe you have a little desktop area or on the top of a filing cabinet where you wanna put a little camera. It's perfect for that situation. The only drawback to the G3 Instant at this point to me is your limited to a quantity of one per purchase. So it doesn't make it very practical to put it out in any larger deployment or anything. But if you have $29 and you wanna play with a Unify Protect system, uh, I really recommend grabbing a G3 Instant. All right, so that's the complete Unify Protect camera system in spring of 2021. A few additions there, we have the G4 PTZ, we have the G4 Dome, and we have the G3 Instant. All are great little cameras. The G4 PTZ obviously is for a very specialized niche. It's super expensive, but I think the optical quality of it's amazing. The G4 Dome obviously is going to be a workhorse going forward. And the G3 Instant brings them to a price point that they haven't previously been at. So that's three nice additions to the Unify Protect system. Let's take a quick look at what they took away. Not surprising to me, these were two really low ranking cameras on my system. And I predicted that both of these would uh, see their end of life. Uh, let's start off with the G3 Micro. The G3 Micro, it was a camera I really didn't want to like and I did end up liking. I think it's a great little camera as far as the form factor goes. Uh, the build quality is nice. Um, the image quality is decent as well. It's got a nice wide field of view. The issue with it was just the price. At $299, was it $299? The issue with this was the price. At $199, I didn't feel like this really had a place. I felt like the Flex really beat it. And with the Instant coming out, I think the Instant does 90% of what this camera does. And it is, you know, a 10th of the price. This camera obviously just really didn't have a place anymore and it has been discontinued. The G3 Dome, which has been a workhorse for us for the past, you know, few years, um, and you know, these go in really easy. They're great little cameras. Uh, they look at pretty nice in a ceiling tile. They just work as a, as a uh, security camera. Uh, the problem with it is the G4 Dome is just a superior camera. And also interior, where you, we use these all the time, I think the smart detections are really nice to have, or really anywhere the smart detections are really nice to have. So um, the G3 Dome is no longer available on a Ubiquiti site, but you can still get these on Amazon. Um, one of the issues that we're having as a professional installer is we quote stuff out earlier than things really happen. So somebody's gonna do a project, uh, they're gonna build a new building, they're gonna spec out the camera system, it's usually three or four or five months before we actually do the build out and do the work. So some of the systems that we're, that we're putting in today still had these cameras quoted from the previous, you know, maybe six months ago. So we are still able to get these on Amazon's. You know, there's, a, there's links to, on Amazon for everything that you can still get on Amazon, but through the Ubiquiti store, you're no longer able to get these. They're just not, no longer listed. Um, I think both of these cameras made a lot of sense to be on that list. They're both really good little cameras, but they have seen their day and there's something that does a better job for a better value out there. And that brings up what we think we're gonna see in the future. A couple of things we'd like to see in the future. Uh, I feel like the uh, G4 Flex 
would be the next logical addition to the Unify Protect system. I think that's a really, really uh, good form factor. I think that's a good price point. And even if it went from 79 to let's say 129 or 119 or something along those lines, but you got motion detection and smart detections, I think that you would really see a lot of those jump off the shelf. Another thing that we would love to see is, I know this is probably a little bit more long-term because the G3 Instant is so new, is G4 technology in the instant line. So maybe you know have a $49 or $59 uh, camera that had those smart detections as well. Um, if I was gonna predict things, I mentioned earlier that the G3 Pro, feel like that's pretty, pretty close to end of life. I would say the G3 Bullet is also pretty close to end of life. Same with the Dome, uh, the G3 Bullet is still uh, widely available on Amazon. But I would say that you know, long term, I don't see that camera really being around much past the summer. One thing that I would also like to see in this kind of interim period while they're having supply chain issues is maybe to switch a little bit to the software development. Uh, I mentioned the G4 PTZ. You'd be able to, able to use that a little bit better with smart detections maybe to follow or maybe doing patrol stuff there. Um, maybe some additions to smart detections maybe with a little bit more recognition, maybe actual facial recognition. Um, it was really nice to see that they added vehicle shortly after they added the person smart detections. But I feel like they could probably use this time where they're not, there's not a lot of hardware development going on right now to maybe uh, add some of those things. There are some things in early access that I'm excited to test out as soon as I get those in and the embargoes listed on those. There are some interesting little accessories. At this point, I really think that the software probably could use a little bit development, but I think that the hardware is really rounded out pretty nicely right now for Unify. Um, I think if they can work out these supply chain issues, um, the, the spring and summer should be good times for Ubiquity. Anyways, if you have any questions uh, or you have comments about what I, anything that we talked about, please put them in the, in the comments down below. I know this is a pretty interesting topic right now with Ubiquity and their supply chain issues and everybody has some, some you know, thoughts about it. So I'd love to hear those in the comments down below. If this kind of video that you like, please like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.